On the 21st of December 2023, once again we held a peaceful and dignified vigil outside the Greek Cypriot High Commission in London to remember hundreds of Turkish Cypriots martyred exactly 60 years ago in 1963 by AOKA, a Greek Cypriot terrorist organization whose aim was to annex Cyprus to Greece. Turkish Cypriots were attacked throughout Cyprus in 1964, forcing the United Nations to send a peacekeeping force, ANFISIP, to Cyprus. As a result of such attacks, Turkish Cypriots were forced to evacuate 103 villages. Furthermore, Turkish Cypriot representatives were expelled by force of arms from Cyprus's parliament. This action by the Greek Cypriot authorities effectively destroyed the Republic of Cyprus, a partnership state established in 1960 between the Turkish Cypriots and Greek Cypriots. In a letter to the Greek Cypriot representative in London, we call upon the Greek Cypriot administration of South Cyprus to tell the truth on Cyprus, acknowledge its role in the destruction of the Republic of Cyprus and bring to justice all those who took part in the mass murder of Turkish Cypriots. Ben BTCA'nin eski başkanı Ersu Ekrem. Burada üç sivil toplum örgütü toplanmış bulunuyoruz. Kıbrıs'taki Akritas planı çerçevesinde yapılan soy kırımı biz protesto etmek için buradayız, toplanmış bulunmaktayız. Bu 60. yıl dönümü de bize çok şey önemlidir bizim için. Kıbrıs Rum Elçiliği'nin önünde toplanıyoruz. Üç örgütüz biz. Bir tanesi Kıbrıs'ı, Britanyalı Kıbrıs'ı Türkler Birliği, diğeri Embargo Birliği, bir tane de Genç Kıbrıs'ı Türkler. Bu üç sivil toplum örgütü burada toplanmış bulunmaktayız. 10 gün içerisinde bize karşı yapılan katliamda katledilen 133 arkadaşımızın resimleri sergilenmektedir gördüğünüz gibi. Onların isimleri, ne zaman öldükleri, bunların arasında çoluk çocuk vardır tabii ki. Bu bizleri çok üzmüştür. Bu şimdi bilhassa gündemde olan Filistin meselesinde nasıl ki ölen Müslümanlara Batı, kaygısız kalmış, hiçbir kılını kıvırdatmamış siviller ölürken biz bunu yaşadık Kıbrıs'ta 1963 21 Aralık'ta başlayan bir süreçte ve yollardan insanlarımızı aldılar, öldürdüler. Ee, hastanelerde e, şeyden e, tedavi gören Kıbrıs'ı Türkleri hastanelerden alıp öldürdüler. E, bunların hiçbiri ceza almamıştır bunların katillerin, bu katillerin hiçbiri Kıbrıs Cumhuriyeti'nde ceza almamıştır. Biz bu yüzden kendimizin bu protestoyu burada şey ediyoruz, yapıyoruz. Bütün halkımıza da bu şeyi hatırlamasını, bilhassa gençlerimizin bu olayları hatırlamasını bekliyoruz. Şeyimiz, mesajımız budur. BTCA olarak siz her yıl düzenliyorsunuz, anma gerçekleşiyor burada, protesto vigil yapılıyor, gerçekleşiyor. Zorluklar da çıkarmıyorlar değil bugün ne gibi zorluk yaşandı? Zorluk çıkardılar bugün bize. Resimlerimizi biz önce o reylerin üzerine koyup da dikleme şey edebiliyorduk. Fakat bugün maalesef dayayamadık, izin vermiyorlar. Gördüğünüz gibi biz de bir şey getirdik. Screen getirip burada şehitlerimizin isimlerini ve şeylerinizi orada yayınlıyoruz. En azından dik olarak görebilsinler herkes diye. Biz ödemeye çalışıyoruz. Tabii anıyoruz onları. Tabii rahmetle anıyoruz. Bütün şehitlerimize rahmet diliyorum bu arada. Zor günler yaşandı. Acımız sonsuzdur. Elimizden geldiği kadarıyla bizler de yurt dışında yaşayan Kıbrıslı Türkler olarak... E, davamızın peşinden gitmeye devam edeceğiz inşallah. Tabii, Sizlere de teşekkür tabii. ediyorum desteklerinizden ben ötürü. Teşekkür ederim efendim. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. My name is Kenan Yaman. I'm the chairperson of the British Turkish Cypriot Association (BTCA). We're a voluntary lo lobby group, and this evening we're here outside the Greek Cypriot High Commission to remember our martyrs, which were killed starting on the 21st of December 1963. 
not only were these people killed, but the Greek militia who killed them also destroyed the Cyprus Republic, formed three years before in 1960, which was a partnership state with the Greek Cypriots, between the Greek Cypriots and the Turkish Cypriots. Ever since, the, uh, in 1964, in March, a few weeks after, the, the, the first United Nations peacekeeping force came to the island on resolution 186 gave the uh, recognized the government of Cyprus as the so-called Republic of Cyprus. In fact, by doing so, the Greek Cypriots usurped the title of the Republic of Cyprus and ever since they have been attempting to strip the Turkish Cypriots of Cyprus of their international rights. We are here today to remind the world that the Cyprus problem did not start in 1974 as the Greek Cypriots would have us believe. In fact, it started in 63. And as I've just said, the United Nations have been in Cyprus since 1964. So we're here today, this evening, and we're here every 21st of December, every year, to remember our martyrs, which you see here, photographs of them here on the floor, these people, 133 people were killed in the first 10 days. Throughout 1964, 103 Turkish Cypriot villages were emptied and abandoned by force of arms of the Greek Cypriot militia. And we're here to remember those martyrs and also remind the world that the Cyprus issue has been ongoing ever since. The only solution that remains for us, for a peaceful solution between the two communities on the island, is a two-state solution. The world is at the moment calling for a two-state solution in Gaza to settle the Palestinian-Israeli issue. We are also calling for a two-state solution in Cyprus. This is the only peaceful outcome that we can ever have in Cyprus. Ben Hüseyin Haşim Hoca, Kıbrıs İslam Cemiyeti'nin başkanıyım. Tam 60 sene oldu, 1963 olayların başlangıcı. Ve o dönemde yüzlerce kişi şehit oldu. Hala yüzlerce insan kayıpta. Onların anısına buradayız bugün. Birçoğumuzun, burada akrabalarımızın, soydaşlarımızın, köylülerimizin, Aynı yaşadığımız kasabadaki komşularımızın kardeşleri, amcaları, resimleri görüyorsunuz. E, hepsinin ruhları şad olsun. Hala e, maalesef Rum yönetimi bir özür e, dile, dil, dilemiyor. Ona üzülüyorum ben. E, kaç yıl geçecek acaba? Hala ambargoların altındayız. Eğer gerçekten bir barış isteseydiler, öncelikle bir özürü olurdu e, şehit ailelerine. Bir de bu e, ambargoları kaldırırlardı bence. Şimdi biraz sonra siz e, mevlüt okuyacaksınız. İlk kez sanırım böyle bir şey gerçekleşiyor. Yok, geçen yılda yapmıştık. Geçen yıl kısa bir duaalar. Yine bu sene bir sela ve dua okunacak şehitlerimizin ruhu için. E, 21 Aralık 1963'te Lefkoşa'da başlayan bir olay. E, bir kısa 4-5 gün içerisinde Kıbrıs'ın tümüne 103 köyden, 103 köyden Türkler kovuldu ve 11 yıl çadırların içinde bir yaşam ve bugün bakarsak dünya o zaman sessizdi. Türkiye gelmeseydi 74'te yine sessiz kalacaktı dünya. Ee, tıpkı Filistin'deki kardeşlerimiz gibi onlar da aynı dönemde yaşayan bir... Evet, evet. Dile kolay. Değildi. Bugün onların aramızdan ayrılanların ruhu şad olsun diyoruz. Amin. Ama kayıplar Allah bir kere daha olsun. göstermesin. Aleyke ya Seyyidina ya Resulallah
Esselatü vesselamü aleyh Aleyke ya seyyidina ya Habiballah Esselatü vesselamü aleyh Aleyke ya seyyidina ya Nebi Allah Esselatü vesselamü aleyh Aleyke ya seyyidina ve nebina Muhammedin Ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ve sellim Velhamdülillahi Rabbil Alim Ya Rabbi 1963 yılında şehit düşen soydaşlarımızın ruhu için dualarımızı kabul ve makbul eyle Ya Rabbi Evlerinden, iş yerlerinden sokaklardan ve hastanelerden alınan toplu mezarlarda şehit düşen aziz şehitlerimizin ruh şadi. Amin. Kabirleri nur ile nur, makamları mekanları cennet eylesin. Kabirleri cennet parçalarından en güzel parçalardan eyle. Ve sevgili peygamberimiz Hazreti Muhammed Mustafa sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem ile yan yana cennette komşu ve şefaatına nail eyle. Aziz şehitlerimizin ruhu için el fatiha Elhamdülillah Hello, my name is Edem Ramadan. I am the chair of Young Turkish Cypriots and I'm one of the organizers for today's event. Why are we here today? So we're here today to pay respects to all those murdered starting on the 21st of December 1963. The initial attacks were lasted for 10 days where over 360 Turkish Cypriots were slaughtered by Greek Cypriot paramilitary troops under the instruction of the Greek Cypriot leadership. However, we know that those killings did not stop after 10 days and carried on for another 11 years. Between 1963 and 1974, Turkish Cypriots were forced from their homes, ethnically cleansed and stripped of their human rights, their constitutional rights and their sovereign rights. As we know, the events for why we're here today caused a quarter of our population to become refugees, forced from their villages, 104 to be exact, into select enclaves, ghettos and refugee camps. Many Turkish Cypriots were forced to even live in caves, uh, especially in places such as Erenkoy, which came under fierce Greek Cypriot attacks in 1964. It wasn't until 1974 when Greece invaded on the 15th of July 1974 and installed Nikos Sampson, Eokabe's leader and former butcher of Omol Fita back in the 1963 Bloody Christmas massacres as Cyprus's new president. It wasn't until then which sparked Turkey to respond five days later with their Cyprus peace operation that Turkish Cypriots finally became free within their homeland again. The necessary divide of the island into north and south has ensured peace and stability and security on the island. Not a, blood, not a drop of blood has been spilt on the island ever since Turkey intervened in 1974. Um, but we are here today to honour and respect those who were killed 60 years ago. We are here to remember them, we are here to remember specifically the trauma their relatives went through and some of their relatives are standing with us today um, and we're here to remember actually the real division of Cyprus in 1963 these attacks led to the collapse of the Republic of Cyprus 
what exists today as a Greek Cypriot entity in the south. It is not representative of the Turkish Cypriot people who are sovereign equals, who are co-founders of the island's independence. The Republic of Cyprus collapsed 60 years ago today and therefore Turkish Cypriots have an equal right to self-determination, an equal right to their state. And we remember those who are killed today and we will continue to live their memory and honour their memory in the state we have formed in the north. Thank you. I want to thank you for your hard work and being here and organising this uh, 60th anniversary. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm Nesla Clements. I am the Secretary of Embargoed. Um, we're here to remember our Shahids, the people who died, who were killed um, during the Troubles. Murdered, really, slaughtered, killed. All those words apply um, from um, uh, 21st of December, particularly in 1963 onwards, although many of them died before. I, I know many people who died from um, the Arca days. They're not included in, in, in this particular group, but we're here to commemorate and remember all our dead. And it's a very sad time that we're here 60 years later, we're still mourning our dead that nobody seems to care about. I think it's it's about time all, all the the perpetrators of those crimes who committed um, the killings should be brought to justice. But that's why we're here and we will continue to be here to to try and, and, and keep the issue alive for as long as we can. It's that they're preventing us from putting our placards on railings. Can you believe that? It's, it's as if... Absolutely, so many years on and we're still in people's way, it seems, by being a Turkish Cypriot. We're still not given our human rights. Um, so I don't know if we've moved forward at all. I don't even know if it's it's a related issue where, where you know our cause, you know what we've been doing. It's, it's um, We keep trying to, to move on, we keep trying to make a dent in, in the world's very, very hard attitude um, but yes that's what we're about that's what our group um, um, embargoed as, as fighting for human rights and together with BTCA we we do what we can to to bring attention to the injustices that are still ongoing and it is about time there was some kind of solution whether that will be, whenever that will be, I, d I don't know. I want to share a few words, if possible, as well. As we come to remember, after 60 years, of the tragic event that took place on the 21st of December, 1963, that began in the old city of Lefkosha, Nicosia, and then within a few hours spread to four corners of the island. Within four to five days, we saw 103 villages evacuated, ransacked, looted, and one third of the Turkish Cypriot population became refugees in their own country, fleeing to enclaves, compromising only 3% of the land mass of Cyprus. And these areas, for 11 years, were blockaded economically by our partners in the Cyprus Republic, the Greek Cypriots. Eleven years of economical blockades. We're now in 2023 and the Turkish Cypriots still suffer under economical blockades. Not once 
has the Greek Cypriot government and institutions, those in power, apologized to the family of those killed and those missing. The world was silent in 1963. The world turned a blind eye to the slaughter and massacres that took place in 1974. And when we see recent events around the world, just across the sea of Cyprus, and we see another community that lives in an enclave that's blockaded and massacres of a grand scale taking place, then we really need to understand, and our community needs to understand, that we cannot trust international guarantees. That the only guarantee we have is the Republic of Turkey. May our brothers and sisters who have passed away, may Allah bestow their, his mercy upon them, and also help our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Gaza. Thank you.